you guys get ready for a jump scare. I just mainly focus around the T-zone because, oh, oh my gosh, I just got it all down my top. So day three update. I'm in my bathroom now, obviously. Um, I'm gonna show you a little update and then I might do a little montage if I remember to film this every day, but this is something I use every morning and night. It's part of the brow upgrade. It is here. I have the original packaging as well, just in case, but it's from The Ordinary. It was on my birthday list and, or Christmas list, I think, and I very kindly received this from my mum for Christmas. And it is The Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. So I'll just show you how I apply it. It's very, very simple, straightforward product. And I am reshaping my brows to get them more arched and higher, get my forehead a little smaller without, you know, taking any drastic measures. I can do it pretty, in a really simple way. Um, testing this out, why not? Because I have had hair growth um, here. I've used castor oil, loads of other products. I heard good things about this and I trust The Ordinary. So we'll see how it works. It's also not very expensive. If it doesn't work, I tried it, no harm done. Um, so yeah, I just applied it right here above the brows you should have seen. And yeah, then I did reshape my brows. So I think I already showed the after in my first vlog clips. Um, but this is what they look like now, all clean underneath, almost, you know, no hairs under on the brow bone at all now. Uh, so yeah, so they have got a slightly nicer shape. I still haven't dyed them yet. That is on the to-do list. Um, like I said, I'm taking it day by day, step by step. And then one more thing, this isn't what I currently use on my brows. I have before, this is for my lashes. Um, usually I take a Q-tip. I've done this on and off for years and I did notice when I was really consistent, a good change in my brows. So uh, yeah, usually like with a Q-tip and then take a little bit of castor oil. This is the one I currently have. Got this one on Amazon. It is the Banyan Tree, but it's 100% castor oil. So it doesn't really matter who you buy from. And yeah, premium cold pressed. I just like the sound of the product pretty bottle um, and it obviously is an oil, castor oil. So I would just tip a little bit out. You can get a Q-tip and I'm not sure I would personally recommend this, but I'm just telling you guys what I do. Obviously, please read all the labeling, you know, make sure the products that you're using are safe for use. Um, like for example, this is literally called a lash product so you can put on your lashes. But with castor oil, please be very cautious and follow, you know, all the directions and everything. That's my disclaimer. I'm just telling you what I personally choose to do, which is to um, apply a little bit on the lash line um, on the outside of my lashes. And yeah, for me, it does help moisturize my eye area, kind of an anti-aging uh, product and also help my lashes grow, keep them in good condition, moisturize and whatnot. And then obviously I cleanse before applying mascara or anything. But yeah, so that's part of my lash growth uh, journey. And then final update for this clip is my teeth. We're on day three now and it looks really bright because of this, I'm in front of like LED lights. You can see a little reflection right there. But yeah, they are looking whiter, more even. Uh, bottom and top row look quite even. I can see a difference for sure. So I'm happy with that progress. Really simple, like I said, when I wake up, I can barely even feel the mouth guards or whatever it, um, in my mouth. So it does feel quite comfortable to use day to day. And I'm happy with the results. They do look quite bright. So yeah, that is uh, the updates for now. I have the Grosmary hair treatment uh, up in my hair now, all slicked back. So I'm doing that for the evening. It's my second treatment. The first one was obviously in part one um, of this series and my teeth look super bright in this lighting. We're on about day four now. So I might actually start to just focus on certain teeth, um, but also in different lighting, my teeth look slightly different shades of white. So. Here in front of a bright light, like they look super Simon Cowell-ish bright, but I'm happy with the results so far, as I've already said, no issues. Um, it seems to be like evenly whitening all my teeth, so I'm happy with that. And yeah, hair isn't looking, obviously it's not really a flattering look and no makeup, but yeah, I just wanted to show you another little hair update that this is about three days after the previous treatment. And yeah, a little teeth update for day four. Hi guys, coming to you around day five, I wanna say. I have lost track. I'm sure I could like manually look back through my clips. You guys will know if you watched uh, segment by segment from part one of my Extreme Glow Up, 
I'm pretty sure it's day five now. Um, but yeah, I am going to go by my teeth whitening in terms of how much product I've used, which is only one full syringe. And um, I'm starting on the, I've started on the second one last night. So I think I'm only go gonna go up to maximum two syringes of use because I'm already happy with the progress, with the results. Um, the people that I've asked have said my teeth do look white um, and lighter. To me, they look lighter. So yeah, I think I really only need like maybe two, maximum three more days of use. So that's kind of how I'm going by it. But yeah, let's say it's day five, um, just over halfway done now. And yeah, like I said, it looks good. In this lighting as well, it's very, very bright. If I move back a little bit, it's still bright. Yeah, no, so I'm happy. We're almost there with my teeth. It's going well. Nothing's gone horrifically wrong. And yeah, there's still quite a lot to do for this video. So this is probably going to be like a midpoint update. Um, going to, although my hair is nicely styled and curled today, I just lightly curled it with my... Remington wand I believe it is and then put a little bit of hairspray in which does add a little bit of nice shine um I am going to do the heatless curls as part of this video I think I will also put in obviously I have to finish my brows which they are shaped these are what they look like filled in and um yeah so the hairs have all been plucked as necessary then they just need to be dyed um do my heatless curls routine tan my face my body do a little bit more like face mask skincare stuff and I think that might be it because my nails are still still holding strong and I think that's going to be the rest of this video but yeah still quite a few updates to go skin and hair update I am getting ready to do a shower kind of an everything routine shower first I'm cleansing my face this is what I'm going in with botanics hydrating micellar cleansing water it's I'm at the end of it, so I thought I'll use it for this video, show you guys all. So I'm just going to cleanse my face. I had no makeup, um, just like a light skincare, quite a thick SPF, so that should be coming off. But yeah, I'm, I'm being quite delicate, by the way. I don't know if that's picking up on camera. Um, yeah, so I have my rosemary oil in my hair again. It's been about three days at least since I last did mine. So yeah, about three days is the interval, the you know space I leave between doing that routine. So yeah, I am gonna have a shower and cleanse my neck decolletage properly as well. So that's why I'm not doing any of that now. And this is done now, so it's going in as an empty. It's from Botanics, which is uh, quite an eco-friendly brand from Boots. So yeah, I think I already said Rosemary Hair Oil, which is from Hair Syrup, one of my favorites. And I did show it in part one, so that's why I'm not really doing, oh, I don't wanna hurt my hands, not doing an in-depth video of that for you guys. Okay, so the face mask, you guys get ready for a jump scare. This is the ordinary, it's kind of their vampire facial. AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. You do want to be careful. So if you do buy this product and use it at home, just be careful with application. Obviously it's kind of like an acidic exfoliating chemical peel. Um, so yeah, obviously avoid the eye area, be careful when washing it off. Don't leave it on for ages. But I just mainly focus around the T-zone. Look at, oh! Oh my gosh, I just got it all down my top. That's not good. So again, guys, seriously, be careful with this application. But yeah, I just kind of focus it mainly on my T-zone and then spread it outwards. It is quite runny, so yeah, be careful. It's not like a clay or anything. It's literally a liquid chemical peel. So I'm going to leave this on once I finish for about 10 minutes, no more than that. Okay guys, post shower obviously in my bathrobe. I'm now going to show you my hair and skin um, the next steps. So what I did as well as part of my shower routine, I know in the last clip I literally just said it was like the everything shower routine. This was slightly inspired, I was TikTok inspired by this exfoliating routine, kind of similar to the hammam scrub. Is I, I think that's what you would call it, the hammam scrub. So basically, you know, like the Turkish treatment where you could just get super soft, really exfoliated skin. 
But yeah, I kind of did like my little at home version. So I used, I have like a normal body exfoliating soap um, that's like meant to prevent oil buildup or any kind of like body acne or anything like that. It's just meant to give you really soft, smooth skin. So I just put that normal soap that I would use onto these exfoliating gloves. So yeah, I love these. They're like a cute Barbie pink as well. So I have a whole range of those. I think I got them on Amazon. So I used that and I have really soft skin because I'm gonna fake tan. Um, yeah, and now you can see kind of like a really fresh after effect. I don't know why in this lighting, what I'm looking at on the camera right now is very, very smooth and like even toned. Not sure if that's what you're seeing on screen right now, but yeah, my skin feels really soft and smooth. So I think the exfoliating treatment worked well. So yeah, first I'm gonna do my hair. Obviously get my hair out the way. We're gonna do the heatless curls routine. So yeah, going again, like I've said before, oh, for the Sydney Sweeney Euphoria look. So I put it kind of in the center and it doesn't have to be perfect by the way. Okay, that was not good enough though. Okay, let me just separate. It's normally easier. I don't know why filming it. Suddenly I just can't do it. So yeah, I would just curl my hair. The first bit looks really bad because it doesn't, it's not holding on to anything yet. It's not tied into my hair yet. So I do it like that. And this one was really cute. It's like from Lidl or Aldi, by the way. Um, I got it as part of a Christmas gift. And yeah, it's just this really cute, it's giving like Taylor Swift lover vibes, you know, the album colors. And from her Eras tour, so onto the next side now. Actually, I need to bring this down a little bit. Get it, yeah, about even with the other side. I would say that's more or less the same height. So yeah, just keep wrapping it around, tying it up. And then whilst I'm doing that, let me update you guys on my skin. So the face mask was also to prep for fake tan on my face which is going to be from Saint Tropez, which to my knowledge, when I've checked, they are definitely cruelty free. So I would definitely recommend the brand. I totally support them. So yeah, they've been the best. Like it's not orange toned, but it gives you like an instant, after a couple hours, obviously once it's set and actually added color to your face, the end result is streak free, not orangey, not, you know, smudged or anything. It does, it just looks like a really natural glow. I haven't even had people comment on it. That's how natural it is it doesn't look like wait what's on you are you wearing like darker foundation like did you fake tan or like nothing it just looks really natural bigger scrunchies on here by the way because on my fringe kind of bangs area i use the smaller ones that came within the set and then here um yeah i just use my own scrunchie so the sides are a little bit a little bit uneven but if you can see the height and everything is more or less the same on each side so for my skin, as I said, Saint Tropez, it is the Everyday Face Cream. This one does say medium dark, but I promise you it's still very natural. You'll see tomorrow morning, it's really not that crazy and I'm pale. So I'm actually completely running out of this. I need to top up and order a new one, but it also has a pleasant scent. I actually think Saint Tropez is kind of like mid-range. It's not super high-end or designer but it's also not the cheapest and the scent is nice. It kind of, it still kind of smells like fake tan, but it's a bit more, it's quite pleasant. It almost just feels like I'm moisturizing my skin, which is nice. And yeah, so I'm gonna use this and I'm also going to sleep in the heatless curls overnight. Um, I'm not sure what, you know, generally people say is the right routine. For me, I like to put it on straight after washing my hair so my hair dries into the curls literally and uh, yeah then the next morning or afternoon or whatever I will take them out and usually they are really tight curls. Good morning guys it is the next morning of course the hair kept up I have a little piece at the back if you can see there it's come loose it's become a little unhinged there but other than that yeah it stayed intact it was relatively comfortable to sleep in I'm used to it now and yeah what I'm going in now with is the brows I've done a little bit of a cleansing routine you can see my face I'm like first thing in the morning um but yeah I'm going in with the eye lord dye brow permanent tint for brows um, don't worry, it's not, like I said before, it's very, very easy to use. It's a really simple product. And yeah, so I've got the little kit here. 
it's very very simple you just mix this is like they call it dark brown but it really it, it suits my hair color but i would say if you're genuinely blonde um like a full-on blonde then maybe don't use this use the blonde ones but yeah i'm just going to squeeze some out of here i have bought another kit because this one is almost finished up um and also you can see the results of my fake tan there's one area where here i know i was saying how good it was and it normally it really is here i just didn't blend it out properly above my eyebrow and um, because i had freshly washed hair and also yeah my hair was like this i probably didn't go far enough into the hairline area so there are little lines here which won't show unless i have my hair tied up um, but other than that i think you can see it adds like a very simple natural glow so yeah don't be scared about using a little bit of like fake tan developer for your face and now five drops of that to develop the color got my little spoolie brush here and then mix all of this in okay and then the same way you would with an eyebrow pencil you just start running it through the brow like that that actually looks really good normally they look so much like thicker like little caterpillars if you've seen it on my first channel uh where i used to post my vlogs and it's just coaching content now but if you watched any of my little weekly vlogs and beauty updates um you'll have seen how crazy my brows can get so yeah this i'm just working all through the brows and then i'll wipe it off in literally two minutes and then i'll go in with a second application just to use up the remainder a very light second application but it's worth it so i will be back in a moment so the second application is done i'm now wiping it off with a tissue and just going to make sure that all the residue is gone because you don't wash your brows after this you just wipe it off so i'm going to get a second tissue there we go like i said again nothing to be worried about it's quite natural it's buildable if you weren't happy with the results you can you know go in again just filled out my brows gave them a nice shape makes them look defined saves time it's like that you know being high maintenance to be low maintenance thing um, and these will last, I want to say, a couple weeks at most. They do say six weeks, but I really don't think the color is that intense. Um, I feel like after a week, this effect starts to fade, but that's still really good value considering this whole process is, is literally like five minutes. So those are my brows done. That really looks a lot better, more put together with the fake tan. My skin looks quite glowy. We'll take the hair out. Um, I think I'll take the hair out right now. But yeah, you can also see my tan i fake tanned if i move back a little bit there you go you can see um yeah and not yeah on my hands it came out quite nicely so yeah now let's quickly take out the hair to get the full effect i will just show you one half on one side to show you um you know how it looks straight away and me oh and now i've how have i messed this up <laughs> and uh me not me. what am i saying the process of how i just take these out is very very simple you just kind of untie it and then unwind it and then same thing because it's like a satin silky material it's very very easy to work with so there we go and yeah so i'm gonna work on the other half now but i'm going to brush out these waves but there you go look at that no heat overnight took three four minutes to put in perfect and now we have the finished result so with my hair i put a smoothing cream from avida through the lengths and then kind of just smoothed it down brushed through it um well i brushed through it and then i put the cream in to make sure it kind of stays smooth so it has some nice volume and curls which are much more hair friendly you know heat free there's no heat products on this at all and it literally took no more than 10 minutes to complete start to finish so that is my hair glow up because i didn't just style it i actually did a routine that i can do every time i wash it really so yeah loving this end result and especially the volume here by my face i quite like that it's kind of a little bit giving far off four set waves skin is looking nice a little refreshed no makeup um i am standing in front of natural lighting so obviously yeah i'm 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 
trying to look flattering in this video, but with my brows as well, um, I think, yeah, it looks nicely put together. I don't need makeup. I look refreshed, a little glowy. My tan, I'm not sure if it's fully showing up in this lighting, but yeah, like I said, it adds a natural color. I am gonna wash it off like when I properly shower again tonight. And yeah, so it's gonna wash off a little bit, um, but it's still gonna have that this nice glow, which in real life, it does look darker than what is showing up on camera but it still looks nice, natural and glowy. So definitely happy with these glow up results. And finally, my teeth. They look very light in that lighting. Um, but yeah, I have finished now. So they look very, very light. Um, well, not even just light, they look white. They look perfectly white um, in terms of the result I was trying to achieve. So yeah, definitely happy with that. And I'm going to finish up, I think with that. So all my routines are done and then I will just, you know, refresh week to week uh, with my tan and brows as needed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the near future, any other kind of glow up style videos, cause I can definitely do that. And I'll see you next time. Bye.